See? I told you. That hat thing only works in the movies. Damn. Oh. Oh, we got another Patreon request. Oh, from who? From Stanley Surik. Silent Madness, 1984. In 3D. Ooh. Welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's Trash or Treasure. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking V for Vienna. <laughs> it is a Vienna lager. All right. Today we're going to bring to you 1984's Silent Madness. This is directed by Simon Nukturn. Nuksu Cow? Nuksu Cow! <laughs> Nuksu Cow! It stars Belinda Montgomery, and she was probably most notably Doogie Hauser's mom in Doogie <laughs> Hauser. That theme. Yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah. most lame theme. It's up there with Taxi. Vavisha Lindfors is also in this, and she was in Creep Show as well as Exorcist 3, yeah. which we covered. Yeah. So we get introduced to Dr. Joan, and she's a doctor in a psychiatric hospital. She's kind of going through some of the patients there. Dr. Van Dyke says I should go home. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's some patients in this hospital that should be released and there's some that shouldn't. And she's kind of fighting for none of these patients to be released, making cuts, right? Yeah. And so they're just letting them out left, right, and center. She disagrees with this. While she's in the courtyard, there's one patient there that should actually be gone. If he's still here, who went in his place? Does a little bit of digging here. She goes down to this L ward and meets these fucking two asshole idiot orderlies. Yeah. You can't come in here. Yeah, it's like, you don't have clearance for this. She's like, I'm a doctor. I have clearance yeah. everywhere. It turns out that John Howard was supposed to be released and it's Howard Johns who was released. Yeah. And it turns out he's a maniac killer and now he's on the loose he's on the loose <laughs> so she goes up to the powers that be to try and find out what happened right and everybody's giving her the runaround basically trying to save their own ass yeah. because this was like a clerical error with the computers, right? Meanwhile, there's a couple camping out with yeah. one of those giant 80s yeah. vans, those shagging wagons. Shaggy carpet on the interior, <laughs> that blue carpet. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a fucking Muppet in there. <laughs> All of a sudden, this guy appears with a sledgehammer <laughs> and he starts fucking <laughs> hammering the side of this van. Fingers out there. <laughs> Just gets him found. <laughs> He ends up killing the guy. It's all 3D. Yeah. <laughs> but not 3D. And the woman runs away from the van, and the killer throws a hatchet, and he's all sitting oh, in shitty 3D. 3D. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He also makes his way to the university campus, and there's one of the girls that's leaving for the day. She gets on her skateboard, starts, you know, skateboarding yeah. down the sidewalk. All of a sudden, she just gets grabbed. That simple, which is actually yeah. kind of scary, the fact that it's that easy. Exactly. He takes her down to the boiler room of the sorority house. Dr. Joan Gilmore is convinced that this maniac is on the loose. <laughs> Still on the loose! So she takes it upon herself to go try to follow him. She goes back to where the original murders took place. She goes to the sheriff's office, walks in. Well, there's nobody around. She can't really see anyone because the sheriff's all laid out. He's yeah. all passed out in that <laughs> chair. And it's Cheswick from fucking One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. Nurse Ratchet, I want my cigarettes. <laughs> Nurse Ratchet! I want something done! <laughs> I want something done! Oh. God damn it, Cheswick! And he's no help <laughs> yeah. whatsoever. Grabs a Coors beer. Yeah. Too. <laughs> Problem with that son of a bitch is that he's nuts! He doesn't want to help her at all, but he does say, well, if you want any information, go to the newspaper, because they have all the information you need about these murders that happen. She befriends one of the reporters who's glad to help because he wants a new story. Yeah, and right? he kind of wants to get with her yeah. too. Give you a sorority ring, you pretend that you were a part of the sorority, you need a place to stay, stay in the house. Yeah. He'll let you in. So she goes in and meets all the girls that live in the sorority house and the sorority mother. A little prickly and yeah. like, Oh, you whore! Yeah, the girls are all <laughs> dancing. Oh, you whore! <laughs> you slut, you! So she convinces one of the girls 
to let her see where the murders take place, the original murders that this Howard Johns committed. After eating that cereal with the coke in it, <laughs> she shows her where the murders took place. They used to do all the hazing down here. We don't do it anymore because the murders. She actually encounters this Howard Johns guy, runs up and grabs this useless security guard. Yeah, yeah. What are you, you goddamn kids are always playing pranks yeah. on me? You can't find him at all. Yeah. But he's hiding up he's in the raft. Pipes and all yeah. that. <laughs> so now she's got to convince the newspaper and that piece of shit sheriff. Here's his death certificate. Good enough for me. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. That Howard Johns is actually still alive, number one, and hiding in the sorority house. So if you want to find out what happens at the end of Silent Madness, keep watching the movie. But first, is it trash or treasure? <laughs> well, it'll bring us to the treasure of this movie. And one of the biggest treasures is the plot. Yeah, right? it's kind of a fun plot. As silly as it is, her tracking down this... Howard Johns. Howard Johns. Howard Johns. Howard Johns. That screwball Howard Johns. Down to his original killing grounds is pretty fun. Comes from a psychiatric hospital yeah. to a sorority house. Yeah. There's a lot of fun yeah. things that are going on. And there's right? madness everywhere. There's, mad yeah. there's madness at the psychiatric ward, and there's madness at the sorority house. It's a madhouse! <laughs> and the kills are also really good. First one is, is pretty awesome with the whole sledgehammer and the car. <laughs> the fingers. Yeah, the fingers and throwing that hatchet. It's, it's, it's actually like, even though it's supposed to be in 3D, even not in 3D, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Takes a, a weight and he ties it to one of the, the girl's necks and she's hanging in one of those pull-up bar pull bars and <laughs> just throws the weight out the window. Like, oh man, a great, great kill. The drill press kill is probably my favorite. That's the best one, <laughs> yeah. And the killer really takes his time to think this one through yeah. as well, right? He all connects the drill press with the power. <laughs> So when they turn the power on, the drill press comes down, like... Near the end, one of those orderlies is trying to, like, rape that doctor. And the other orderly is like, oh, well, I, turn I, need, the lights I need to on. see what's going on here. I need to see what's happening. Turns on, that it's, but it's the drill press <laughs> instead this, of the lights. <laughs> it goes right the back of his head. Dr. Joan herself is actually pretty good. Probably the strongest character of the whole movie. Takes it upon herself to find out what's going on. You know, she's a strong female character. Everyone in this movie is like, ah, oh, the sexy psychiatrist, you're full of shit. She just lets it roll off her back, like, oh, fuck you. Think what you want, I'm gonna go solve the mystery. Yeah, yeah. And that is the fuck you. Like all the men are all a bunch of bumbling idiots. Yeah, they're really. all a bunch, especially that sheriff. The humor in this movie is great, too, and it's intentional. It's gotta be. Uh, especially yeah. with the sheriff. Swearing. Swearing for no reason. <laughs> Why'd you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Quit fucking bothering me. <laughs> You're the sheriff! Yeah. You guys are thinking with your dicks! <laughs> yeah. He's like the laziest fucking sheriff yeah. ever. The showdown at the end's not bad, actually. He's got, yeah, he's got that shotgun. <laughs> and he all misses, of course. <laughs> and he gets all beat up. That brings us to the trash of this movie. And one of the biggest things is the production value for this. It seems a little cheap. And I think it's because it's in 3D. Yeah. If they would have like not shot it in 3D and spent that money on maybe some better effects, showing more of the kills, this movie would probably be a lot more well known. Because the fact is 3D now means nothing. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't mean a goddamn thing watching it now on your TV at home. To use that money for all the 3D cameras was completely, totally useless. Totally useless. Totally useless. The pacing quick in the beginning, and then it just drops right off. The middle is a big lull. The kills in between are just not enough to have it pick up. The actual killer himself is Howard Johns, guys. He's kind of lame and shitty. He's just some <laughs> guy with some bags around his eyes. Like, he's got no real defining characteristics. Howard Johns, to me, means nothing. He's just some guy hanging yeah. out in a boiler room. As much as you like the plot of the wrong guy being released, you think they would have caught that. <laughs> just let him go. <laughs> like, no, that, that wouldn't happen. And it's one thing if he escaped, I can see that. A doctor can't even get into the ward, but they'll just let a patient out. 
Nobody really seems overly concerned after the fact. Maybe let's call the state police and let's yeah. get more people involved to catch this guy. Nobody gives a shit. And another piece of trash about this movie is the ending. It's just all tied up way too quick. It's like Scooby-Doo. It's just like, <laughs> oh, this is exactly what happened in, in two minutes. He wasn't the killer. It was someone else. Credits. Yeah, it's like, like oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> In the sheriff's like, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> so Silent Madness, trash or treasure? Uh, it's it's trash. I'm gonna rate it treasure. I had a good time watching it. As much as it, it didn't make much sense at some parts, I'll watch it again. You know, yeah, I, just for shits. I know? think the the pacing and the production value kind of does it for me. Where yeah. I probably won't. We're in disagreement. Not too often it happens, but every once in a while. Well, so until next time, keep drinking. I thought you were going to raid a treasure. <laughs> ah.